Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up and let us begin this video. In this video, we are going to review the Yay Mail plugin, which is created by Yay Commerce. So if you are ready, let's just start this video and not waste our time. So today we are going to talk about Yay Commerce platform, which offers multiple products. But in this video, we are going to talk about a particular product, which allows us to customize WooCommerce emails. First of all, let's take a look a bit on Yay Commerce. As you can see, here are the different products it offers, quite a range, and all the products has good user interface, and Yay Commerce generally has lots of positive reviews. Now, in the products, we can access the plugin we are going to review in this video, which is called Yay Mail Pro WooCommerce Email Customizer. After installation of this plugin, on the left side, we will be able to see the dashboard, visualize email templates and customize them. Right now, I suggest that we go to WordPress. I already have this plugin installed and for this plugin to work, uh, we need to have WooCommerce. So after installation of everything, when you click on WooCommerce, you will be able to see in the submenu the email customizer and just click on that email customizer. Let's click on an email customizer, which will redirect us over here. And on the right side, we will be able to see mail templates and choose for which event what template will work. Uh, for example, currently for new orders, the template you can see on the screen will be sent to customers if they order something new. In order to change the event, in which case the email will be sent, we need to go to settings and basically enable any template that we want. The good part about Yaymail Pro is that it allows us to have emails and templates for basically every occasion. Now, I will activate two new add-ons for this plugin, one of which is called Yay Mail WooCommerce Tribe. This one will add three new templates to our collection. And the other one is called Yay Mail Add-on for WooCommerce Subscription, and it will work on templates starting from here and until the expiry one. Let's activate them both. Going back to our email customizer and refreshing the page over here, we can see every template already installed. And now we need to go to WooCommerce and click on the settings tab. And when we click on settings tab, then here is an email tab. We need to click on it. And under this tab, we will see a list of emails and the button along them. Uh, which it allows us to directly uh, go to email customizer and customize a specific template that we selected. For example, let's click on this one and try to customize it. As you can see, there are a few things which are default settings in Yay Mail. However, everything is customizable, including logos, colors and sizes. For example, now we can change the logo over here. Let's set the email logo one. And afterward, we can play around with the width, size and placement settings. And then for this one, we can change the color and again the placement, text color as well. The font, font is also customizable. This is going to be the text. Uh, however, if we add anything over here, for example, let's add a slash, uh, it does not matter actually what, we can directly or like in the live see the changes over there. Then we can move inside the text block and customize it. Uh, for example, customize variables such as surname, main, we can change the text, background color, etc. Let's just set it white. The main benefits of this plugin is that it is a drag and drop builder. Let's for example drop a button over here. We can uh, move it around, we can change the text on the button, let's type learn more. 
And over here, we can choose the color of the button, add a link, change font size, or overall height and width of the button. Then if we move here under the elements, uh, we can see that there are social media and images. Let's drag and drop social media over here. There are lots of social media icons and you can add any business related social media in here, paste the link and when a customer gets the email, they can just click on it and visit the social media page of yours. We can choose the spacing between the icons, the background color and align the text to left, right or center. I will just leave it at the center. Also in the elements tab, we can see that we have a video element or an image list with which we can choose related products and add those. Uh, that is very easy to do. We drag and drop this element as we did. Then choose the image from the media gallery or add a new one from our devices. Afterward, <clears throat> we just paste the URL of the product we displayed. We can also add a text. Those can potentially increase the number of sales and returning customers. We can also add a footer over here and fully customize it. To delete it, we need to click over here and then just click on delete. So this was everything related to the basic styles. Uh, here we also have general ones. From where we can, for example, add a divider, where we can again customize color, width, height, etc. Then we can choose the line type. For example, let's choose a double one. In the general, we can also add a space, add two columns, choose an image and background for those. It will look like this. There are also three and four column options. You can play around with this and create a template that you truly want to send to your customers. What is related to WooCommerce, uh, we can find under the WooCommerce tab. For example, we can see the shipping address, the billing address, and their placements look like this. We can also add something like this, where the shipping and billing addresses are next to each other and not in a separate way. Also, we have an order item over here. There is an element called subscription suspended. Here it is, and here, it, here is how it looks. However, we do not need this, so I'm just going to delete it and just click on save it so that the template we just created is saved before we send the test email and before we publish it. Let's send the test email to ourselves so we can quickly check the final look. Um, by the way, Yay Mail offers an opportunity to send uh, SMTP emails. Let's just send the test one, click on send. Our email is received, let's go and check it out. And as you can see, the email is received just the way we created it. Every customization is saved and everything looks just like we meant it to look like. Now let's go back to our plugin and click on the settings tab, then general. Here are all the templates. Let's, for example, choose subscription switch one, then go to settings tab again, then general and do all the necessary adjustments. We have RTL so that our text will be written from right to left. Then we have container width, display payment instructions and detail feature. We can also turn on or off show product image feature. Then there is product image position, top, left or bottom subsequently. Show product SKU, we can turn it on or off, in default it is just turned on. And short product description, which we can also turn on and edit. Also, it is worth noticing that besides styles, Yamail provides us with an opportunity of custom CSS, which accordingly allows us to type our custom CSS. But before starting that, do not forget to save everything we did before. Just click on the save button. So let's go save it, then go to settings, click on custom CSS, turn it on. And after loading, click over here, then again on subscription switch template. 
And as you can see, now we are able to write our custom CSS on the block that appeared over here. So for example, let's type background red. Here it is. And click on save, then go to email settings. And as we can see here, we can select the background color of our email. For example, now it is white. We can play around with the color palette, but I will just leave it white. We can also set link colors. Again, I'm going just to leave them blue. In enable and disable template section, we can turn on specific templates, which we would like to see over there. For example, now we can turn new account mail and it will be sent instead of the default WordPress email. Now we are going to use subscription switch template, turn it on and click on save. It has reset templates, it adds default one and styles that we added just disappear. Here we have an export and import templates from where we can export or import templates basically this function will work uh, if we have another website already with already installed yaymail plugin where we already have the templates customized and styles customized and this feature is pretty amazing because it saves lots of time and you can just come here import all the styles and you will not have to do it all over again after any customization we have to click on the save button. For example, let's delete this. And here we just activated the save button. We can click on it. We also have preview button, clicking on which we can see how our mail generally looks like. Then we have desktop preview option and mobile preview options. From here, we disable and enable button. We can control everything. After save over here, we can send a test email and let's try that again. Uh, let's send the test email itself. Mm -hmm. And here is our email re received. Uh, as you can see, all the styles and changes that we made are saved. We can see it, on, you can see it in the screen. From here, we can choose a template and from there we can copy page, template or reset anything that we want. So let's conclude this video and do an order to see how our customized email will be received. So what we need to do basically, we need uh, to go and choose the processing order template, change the logo, adjust a few more things. For example, um, in the settings, go to email settings, change the color to blue, then add an image at the end. Let's add this element over here and this one over there. Now everything is done, just click on save it. Change the, we can change the color as well. Let's change it, then save it. Now let's go to our shop to buy the product. Basically order the product as we normally do. Go to checkout page, click on sign up now, etc. And done, we basically we ordered the product from ourselves. We go to our email, refresh the page, and as you can see, we receive the template and this is how any customer of yours will receive the final email when they do the new order from your website. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. Do not forget to share this video with your friends or colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Also, you can check out the description down below where you can find the links to the plugin mentioned in this video. See you in the next one. Bye! Oh, <laughs>